actually didn't succeed in um no i think we have to go find a server somewhere and i'm reporting results because everyone just finished their game <laughs> right okay <clears throat> Well, let's see, we got Zone Turbo, they're both Cybern. And we're on Oracle, that's another chosen map. This one I think I've only played a couple of times, I don't think I've played this, uh, this version. I really like this map, just because it has the nice sort of open metal and, but still, like, secure expansions that you can fight over. Mm. Yeah, I played it, and... Uh, I'm not sure if I played this version. I don't know if this was really one of my favorite ones of his. Feels kind of... I don't know, it felt like... Mm, I like the lack of resources on it. What, what is Lo doing actually with his ACU? But, um, you know, there's not too many mixes, but I don't know. It's like, what, what do you, what are you able to do after the opening? That's kind of my question, but I don't have much experience here. So I'm not sure the answer is, I think, uh, turbo is probably the clear favorite to win this. I think so. I think so, yeah. He's played a lot recently. He's, well, quite a lot. And he's been try-harding when I've played him on ladder. He's been, you know, making it very difficult. Uh, should we try... What servers are you in that we can use? I'm in a lot of servers. Do, like, the, the PC... Yeah, maybe getting in the uh, tournament voice. Uh, oh, I actually can't go into that one. Oh. Well, I can. Can you go into ladder voice? Uh, maybe. No. All right, we'll just go into general, I guess. <clears throat> All right, we figured oh. that out. Well, that was fast. Hello. I can't hear you, Tagada. I'm here, I'm here. Don't hey, worry. What's up? I was trying to cast as well, but as soon as you started your stream, I lost half my viewers, so <laughs> I just hope. <laughs> okay. Especially that you're already duo casting with uh, Swokul. Yeah, yeah. Um, Slow already has two factories, and now he's making air factory. He's going third air. Yeah, I feel like you could do a lot with with land on this map. There's a lot of places to to attack, a lot of mixes to defend. Yeah. Fire Bomber is really good as well. If you can see the engineer by turbo on the south that is expanding, it will take a lot of mixes. If you can snipe it with the bomber, it's very powerful as well. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he has an anti park like right next to it. Um Seems like kind of slow expansion though. Like there's one engineer going to the right for turbo and it's gonna build a factory and PDs and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's quite slow, I would say. I usually like to send at least two engineers. Yeah. One to grab the max where he's building the factory and then go on the plateau and take the max there. Yeah, and then also if you get bombed you you know, you can still have exactly. a closer engineer as well. Uh, what do you think about the ACO movement on this map? Well, I've almost never played it, and I haven't played it in months, I would say. So it's hard to know. I feel like... Where's the reclaim at? You got this, what, what is that, like a, a Janus? A Corsair. It's a Corsair, I think. Yeah, Pretty so... Sure. I mean, walking towards that seems fine. Like, say if you're turbo, and you walk up 
to the top left, 340 minus one. I'm not sure about that. I feel like that your AC is kind of out of position. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it covers the expansion behind you a bit. And... I feel like the thing is, you need to get that reclaiming factory in the middle of the map, and if your opponent's ACU is there and you're not, they can just go and reclaim it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, there's not that much reclaim in the middle. Doesn't seem like not a huge yeah. amount. It's not in the, exactly in the center, so it's easier to to sneak it with some engineer. Yeah, yeah. It's more about unit control there, I would say. Like, the few times I played this map, I sent the ACU where the lost ACU is right now, next to the Hydra, and then go to middle. Yeah. There's an air fight happening. It looks quite even. Slog had the better. Oh, he's gone idle. Oh, yeah, he's gone idle. Uh, you could really see the power of idle inties there, because Slog flew and turbo inties just casually uh, flew up and got in behind. Yeah. So yeah, that's a big air fight. Especially that Slaw had, I think, one more inti. Pretty sure. Mm. Slow does have the faster transport, though. And it's not going to get. Kinda nice. It's not going to get caught. There's no air scout. Yeah. Turbo's making a transport now. It's just finishing. And. Hmm. Oh, that's dangerous. Turbo. All of inti Turbo's inties are currently in pursuit of a scout of Slaw. And the uh, Zlos scout is going straight to Zlos base, so that could be possibly. Yeah. Could catch the transport then, because the Indies aren't going to be there. Okay, they turned around now. Yeah. It's really dangerous to send all your Indies after a scout. Uh, yeah, I, after I, a scout. I, I think guess. his I think his Indies were on attack move. I think they just locked onto no, it. No, no, no. They were locked onto it. Alright, okay. They flew like across the map. Look, uh. Slaw is trying to drop aggressively into Turbo's reclaim. That seems kind of ambitious with the transport. He has an order to drop right there where the Turbo's engineers are reclaimed. Yeah, that's. I mean, he's probably not going to do anything with that, but the other drops are really good. He's got that 300 yes. mass there. Max is here. Ion transport, if you know. I don't know what that is. So weird. Yeah, those are good drops. Also, no, neither of them. Oh wait, Tur uh, Zlaw now gets tr that three hundred forty mass wreck, and he was trying to get the other one as well in the, in the left, but uh, he got denied. Zlaw just got nearly like six hundred mass. I wonder what he'll spend it on. I you can see that he's building a lot of power, so he didn't have enough. Oh, he's going to land. I'll okay. say that's the default choice on this map. Although it's pretty fast, because really, especially that he's getting raided on the in the north expansion, this is, factory is dying. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely behind in units. He has a lot of units in that right expansion there, where the three mixes were, and they weren't really doing anything. And he's getting raided elsewhere. He's also making he's T2 gonna... mix as well. Oh, Just he should it. finish the T2 mix before going to T2 land. For sure. Is it just me or does Slow's ACU positioning seem a bit risky? It is for sure. He needs to stay out of range of Turbo's Yeah, commander. if he gets into range of ACU, then he'll be in trouble, but otherwise it should, he should be fine. But it feels like Slow has way less units right now. Yeah. And, and Turbo is going for Jesters. I think he smells blood. He has air control and he has. ACU close to Zlos ACU and Zlos ACU is running towards a cliff so he'll get stuck there. That's I really dangerous. I think Turbo's gonna waste all of his air right now. Because his Inties are so split up, he's not gonna win this fight. Yes. And there's AA to it as well. Yeah. This is gonna That's be a, a bad mistake. It's gonna be a massacre. Yeah. That was really bad. And Turbo I has given up the pursuit. Zlos yeah, should really not be in the cliff there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if he realizes that he's on the wrong side of the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I mu he must do, he must do. Some sneaky drop on the bottom, one mantis. 
Durbo is doing a lot of nice single Mantis raids or double Mantis raids on the north and south. Yeah. Yeah, he has some nice map control at the top, has those top top left mexes. He has the mid mexes. Uh, but he has lost air control. He's going to lose his gestures probably. Might lose the transport. He needs to send them to the base and just... Oh, he's lacking power currently. He's trying to go T2, but he has no power and his air production is paused, so he won't regain it for quite a while. Yeah. And slow. His, his rhinos are AFK in his base at the moment, sadly. But uh, he's making transports. I'm wondering what he's going to do with the that's transports. I best click, to be fair. Free transports, that seems like a lot of wasted resources. Yeah, it's a bit much. I it's... think it's more of a... He queued a transport on infinite build order and like transport three in this. And then you don't realize for a while. Yeah, probably. He needs to... Uh, yeah, he's making bomber now. He needs to regain some map control. He's still... You know, he's he's too far behind the map control right now. Below Turbo's ACU, there's like 2k, nearly 2k worth of mass in Reclaim. There's, there was quite a few fights there. If And it's completely under Turbo's control. Oh, if he yeah. can get that, he can get easily... He can easily transition to nice T2 land production. And one max. Yeah, that is a really nice Reclaim field he has for himself. But he's not moving towards it right now. Yeah, I don't think he... I think he's focused enough. I noticed that Turbo built a lot of T1 PDs really early on. That was quite an investment, like one, 4 PDs, that's 1000 mass. Yeah. And he ended up with more... The map control. Yeah, he had more spam <laughs> as well. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Yeah, I think it was the... Bad timing on tacking from Slow as he, he started tacking when he had less units, and because of that, he took more and more, uh, worse and worse trades, and also going for T2 Max and T2 Land at the same time. Yeah, well, I think it's also he didn't invest in as much into the spam, probably, and so he just had resources built up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so then he's like, okay, I'll make T2 Max, and then he got reclaimed, and he's like, okay, I'll also make T2 Land because I have resources. He... Slow is rushing at T2 max, but he doesn't seem to have mass. It was going up. Now it's going up fast, but it was going very slowly for a second. I think he probably realized he had no mass, and he's like, I need to finish this fast before I do something else. So he just Maybe. starts assisting everything with it. Otherwise, you end up with 70% T2 max that never finishes. Uh, so they both have T2 land. They both have. Well, actually, Turbo has his P gen first, which is kind of funny. Yeah, Zos was building it only with T2 Engineer. It's the time that Turbo just should go gun yeah. and stealth just to be safe. And possibly push in when he regains our control. I like how there's a scout between 10 inches and it just flew away and it's alive. <laughs> Luckiest <laughs> scout in the world right there. Oh, now an int is... Nope. It's locked. <laughs> oh, Turbo is grabbing the reclaim that we were, I was speaking of before. Yeah, so he should good. be able to fuel a lot of T2 uh, upgrades. I feel like he's unnecessarily spamming a lot of Mantis for no reason. Like he is sitting on 60% map control and I don't think he should be... A, he doesn't need the T1 units right now. I think he should stop all T1 production and upgrade factories to T2. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, or, you know, add in more Medusa as well and yeah. just make mexes. As low as he going, instead of trying to get back map control, it seems. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's quite hard for him to get map control. Like, he can get maybe two maxes somewhere, but he cannot push on the bottom. He has less units. He doesn't have more units on the top, and there's a PD. Mm -hmm. He could push neither on the top them... if he had Medusa. some Medusa. Yeah. yeah, neither of them have enough RT. Turbo makes... The gun now, he's about 30%. The slow is just chilling, not making any upgrades. He has the P gen finished. I'm wondering where's is T2 air gonna happen? I someone. feel like Turbo right now should just stop because he doesn't invest into T2 like fully. He should either rush T3 or go T2 air right now. Yeah, so just... I wouldn't I wouldn't rush T3 here because well I mean 
feels it feels too big a risk. Yeah, that's true. That's and there's true. not too much mass, honestly. Yeah, can yeah, that's true. they really afford T three land off this? Well, that's the thing. If if say Zlow just went for a T two air and made a lot of T two air or something, it could get really messy. Yeah, it's a risk not worth taking, but I just don't like that he's spamming so much T1 at this stage. Yeah, like, yeah. the yeah. will be nearly useless at this point. They will be a... doing more trouble than anything. They will just... Uh... Turbo will have problem with the pathfinding during the... If the T2 units won't get onto the front, they will get stuck and then they will get stunned. Yeah. Lately, I've been very fond of the uh, T2, this Rhino and Medusa mix after playing a couple games versus Mozart. <laughs> where my arm is just, you know, just I try to attack and the wall of Medusa just stunned all my T2 units and they are basically sitting ducks. <laughs> yeah, Swakal said the same thing. He's like, oh yeah, Rhinos are good, yeah, yeah. Or have I just played Mozart too many times? <laughs> I think it's it's playing Mosey more than the Rhinos. It's all about the Medusa. Yeah, Another T two P gen for Turbo. So that's gonna be a lot of power. He's finished the gun and stealth. So and he has some flak with him, so I think he might just walk into his law now. His law has the gun, but he doesn't have stealth. Oh, Homer's just killed two hoplites there. Yeah, that was nice. It's a very good Hopper. bomb. Although now the, all of them should die, so it's not worth it, I think. Yeah, no. Now the second really. pass was. Killed two more mantis. It's pretty good. Yeah. Not the worst. Uh, Turbo is adding a, a lot of uh, energy storage, so it seems like he wants to push. Yeah. Although he's not moving his unit, so it's kind of dangerous. I'm not sure. He has T1 radar. He should probably get a T2 radar in the mid, where, where the PDs are, so it's safe from air and that. Yeah. Looks like it's awesome. low pushing on the top side. He definitely has more better units here. He has hop blades and rhinos here. So he needs to take this top left back for sure. Yeah, he has Angie's right behind this unit. So and he has already given orders to reclaim. So that's pretty nice. Actually, yeah. Right now, Zlo has like no units with his commander. He has a huge army in the top left. Like he has like. Seven or eight rhinos, six hoplites. That's like most of his land army. So that's I think that's yes. he's way out of position with those units. I mean, he has a lot of ground to give. He can give a lot of ground where his ACU is. There isn't really much here, as long as he can protect the choke, really. But yeah, he shouldn't send more units. He's also making MMOs, which I don't really understand why. I don't think it's the time. There are no pit. Like nothing can be really killed with those. Well, they are like oak. Yeah, like one one MML in an army is pretty nice. I would say. Yeah, depends. But I feel like this map is too open for that. The armies are moving most of the time. It's really nicer where there are like a lot of chokes, like Sirtis maybe, or your armies are more stationary. Yeah, I don't know why I he has like one down here. The... Almost like the hoplites are filling the role that an MML with like a more choke pointy map. Of just being the standoff damage. <clears throat> yeah. As uh, low could just die here though. He needs to stop standing yeah, he there. He needs to run. Yeah. Air fight coming perhaps. As low does not flak, so. Yeah, Turbo shouldn't risk air here. He needs to, he needs to hover around his flak. If he loses air, then he cannot be as aggressive. Yeah, although Zlo still only has T1 air. He doesn't have any T2 whatsoever. There's some raiding Wagner on the bottom, running away, killed the Maxis. <laughs> it's nice. Turbo's kind of wasting some units against the commander. Yeah, I don't feel like he should... I, I think he can kill him if he can block with Mantis easily. Yeah, I think so is dead. Yeah, he has no units. He has two yeah. hoplites with him. And there's no Turbo water. Needs to be really careful to not clamp up his T2 units, to not give too much vet. He just needs to uh, shift J with his Mantis to block, and his two units should be spread out. Yeah, I think he's just dead no matter what, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, probably. Although he... it's closer than it should be. 
Yeah, the commander's yeah, I... in range now. Oh, that block from his own hop lane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, as well, it's just dead. He's dropping in one right though, on top of his Humala there. <laughs> you gotta try. He doesn't even make it. Yeah. That was pretty well played for Turbo. He made a couple mistakes, but it was well done. The army on the top left is just idle. It's 15 T2 units there. As you said, it was completely out of position. Yeah, yeah, that was the biggest problem for Zlo. Like, he could defend if he had his units in the right place. But he's just sort of let Turbo have more map control and didn't try and regain it once yeah. he lost it. That was the biggest he, issue. He engaged in the eco battle with basically like less max is available. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's no way he wins that. No. Oh, I see. But also in terms of gameplay, I never liked Shift G, and. Uh, like never from the start, it's kind of busted. It was one of the main reasons that Snipe Mode was so busted, even though it was busted anyway. Shift G was like the compounding factor that made it absolutely disgusting. Yeah. And it's just, it's a lot of situations, just no brain. And you have this special control over units that changes the game extremely. Like once it was introduced, the it's a big change in the game to be uh, able to move units other, like that. The problem with the removal of, of it I have is the normal move order for bigger clumps of units just doesn't work sometimes. Like yeah, I mean, it's so hard to get your army to move sometimes when it's 50 plus units. Yeah, I mean, it's the pathfinding isn't great, but um, like you, Shift G is not necessary to. Um, to deal with that, really. On the other, yeah, I partially agree. And I think that the side effect of that is we'll see a little bit less T1 spam. Like, we will ha we'll see more T2 transitions. Because if you think about it, the, like, when you, you, when you cannot really micro properly your big army, it's not that good anymore. And I feel like people will, after some time, they realize that that and we won't see the giant 70 mantis blobs anymore. I can't say yeah. I'll miss them, but... Which I think no, is... I feel like it's good. Good. Especially after seeing some, for example, I saw a mentor game where basically one person goes D2R, micros the shit out of his gunships, and the other person just pumps mantis, and the mantis die to gunships, but they rate as well. And yeah, well, I don't. You... I mean, I don't think that had to do with Shift G, really. Yeah, that. But I'm talking more about like the mindless T1 spam. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if there isn't really like a meta and like unspoken agreement before between some people on some maps, a lot of maps can like uh, just end with mindless T1 spam everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, certain maps it's favored more for sure. And Mentor, I mean, that was low versus farms. So, <laughs> just for context of what game <laughs> Tiger is talking about. But uh, that's definitely a map that favors Zlo's playstyle. Yeah, how about the spread move? Like the, the mod? Yeah, the mod spread move, which allows you. I mostly use it for scouting. Uh, I actually don't know how it affects that mod, or if it does or not. Maybe Keyser knows, but uh, I, I actually don't. Alright. So, first land, second air, third air for turbo. Oh, what are... Oh, I didn't join the game. Oh, did you not? Oh, shit. oh no. Did you... Both of you guys miss it? Oh, I'm in here. Alright, okay. I'm uh, just gonna watch the stream, I guess. Okay, <laughs> damn. Uh, oh, yeah, Keezer's here. He's, uh, we were wondering if spread move, the mod, is it is changed or broken or something by removing Shift-G. I mean, I don't think it is, but I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. 
Yeah, maybe maybe keys or knows, maybe he doesn't. Uh, so this is the new Norfair with it's not lava anymore. <laughs> it's uh, some kind of rocky wasteland. How do you like the aesthetics of it? I preferred the old one. I don't know why everyone yeah, disliked. Same. Like he got so much hate for the the aesthetics of the first version. Like I have no idea why. Honestly, it was fine. It looked. It was I mean, different. <clears throat> this is like more pleasing just because it has blue instead of red, but it's kind of boring now. See, you can't please him. Because it can't doesn't please pan out him. as much. Oh, this is you too really different. Can't. This is too boring. This is blue. This is red. It's like, come on, guys. It's a map. It's a map. It's better than. <laughs> virtually any map in the vault so. <laughs> have you looked in the vault <laughs> That's recently not a high standard. have you looked in the vault recently don't I do have. it don't do it have you looked for that uh, vault discussion recently that's the better question <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's very entertaining and some certain uh, forum user who makes a very long post about maps and protects uh, certain a gap and astro style maps to be honest i haven't even read the thread so i, I don't yeah, even know I, what I you're like alluding to couple of the his posts but like i just gave up they're just too long and too like talking about everything and nothing basically hmm. well that's very most... few people care about maps that much and i am not one of them right yeah, so <laughs> so they both send their transports out uh, we're lagging a little bit. Swackle, I think your your ping is insane right now. Oh, I think my connection is dying or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> <the> <laughs> yeah. You've got oh, your four. Oh, okay. Swackle disconnected. He's got his his rating in ping. Two uh, K like pog that. champ. Yeah, I mean I'm still here. Yeah. Just See, not gonna let the connection hold things up all right that's fine uh please drop as low please drop your engineers there we go all right so oh yeah this this is actually a bit different this version so that we've got extra mechs in this in the bottom and the top the island on the, the islands on the sides have closer mechs and maybe the reclaim is a little bit different yeah there are trees within the reclaim yeah so and yeah so we got like an extra max or two in the middle this is a plateau now you can't walk up here and there's two maxes on each of those and reclaim quite a bit of reclaim so uh i kind of like those changes yeah i i didn't like the passage way that was through the where the plateaus are now it was kind of buggy because the elevation was the change of elevation was so high the units were getting stuck there yeah yeah yeah, I like how this this looks, and you still have that one mechs in the back that needs to be dropped as well. So there's a could lot of things maybe, to drop here. Could you show the height map next to the free max expansion in the middle? Because I remember there being some problems there. Not sure if it was fixed. There you go, flat as anything. All right, much. that's nice. There's like a ramp there, it's like a bit of elevation here. But yeah, looks good. So, both ATs going to the same place. Which is going to be... Could end up in a short game. <laughs> could definitely end up in a short game. This is a map where you can easily snipe a commander if it, if you're in this situation. If we would be so lucky. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Tourney Director. I mean, just, you know... Force us to play 5x5s five five the whole time if you go on short maps, <laughs> short game. Oh, please don't. <laughs> At least you can do it in qualifier, but don't I do it. I tried that thing. once. <laughs> yeah, I remember it the final of a certain... I remember the final of a big tournament with the maps being made smaller because... Uh, for the benefit of the casters, it was said. Yeah, so... it was one of the to Tokitos hosted tourneys. I, I read about it <laughs> afterwards. It was like... There was so much salt shit going around. And salt. A lot of, a lot <laughs> of salt. 
over Which that. is understandable, because like, for example, if Swakul would make me play mostly five by fives versus Patrick, I think instead <laughs> of like four one, I could end up like two three, two four or something like that in favor of Patrick, just because there are players that play better on certain map uh, types of maps. Yeah, and uh, as low as making three T two max at once right now. That's and really he just lost air bad. control. He's lost air control. He oh he's getting bombed on the island down here. He is falling back from the position his ACU has been to. He's just falling back from the enemy ACU because he has not got enough units. Or he just he's up against a PD as well. And the three max somehow turbo is like taking that three max expansion over on the other side. I feel like the other. he's not gonna hold that. Yeah, there are so many units. Turbo but has so both uh, both plateaus in the middle as well with reclaim. That's, really nice. That's really good. And Look raiders. how many. There's a small raid, Turbo's raid, in the north. Slow's north expansion, and Slow just sent all of his units there. Now he split them, but for a second it was. Yeah, well, that'd be cleaned up easily yeah. anyway. Air units flying over Slow's base. Denying all air production. He has three air factories and he lost air, which tells me maybe he um was stalling. Yeah, while well, making Fiji to Maxis perhaps. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh T two air, fifty percent for turbo. A lot of units being made on the island, which is not what you want to see, honestly. That's gonna hurt him in the middle of the map. But he yeah, is I don't understand. Why people are spamming so many units just get like two AA, two Mantis. Yeah. Uh, or even better an AA to red. It's just way better than especially Cyber mo Mobile on tier. Well the the island is so big I wouldn't say I wouldn't say That's one true. turret is gonna cover too much. <laughs> but yeah, Turbo way better map control. He should just catch up on eco pretty quickly he's gonna have a t2 pigeon on the way very soon and it looks really good for turbo to go 2-0 here yeah he should well this is game quickly. three like, this low won the first one on uh, desert arena oh this is the decider he missed the first game yep i see okay all right yeah you can see turbo making a lot of pgs next to his aco he's just he feels like he has this one in the back. He's just trying to be safe, don't get sniped. Mm. Yeah, also slow making... He has 42 maxes. He didn't drop the back still, and he has 52 max halfway. Yeah, again, we can see slow with less map control, just echoing, which won't end up well. Yeah, you, and, can't, and... you can't do that against a, a player this good. You can do it against worse players easily, but uh, <laughs> not against players who are more or less equal or even favored against you. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's interesting to see that even though Turbo won air control, he's making so many AA turrets. It just shows the the fear and also the, the fear of the snipe, the confidence as well. He yes, knows he's exactly. ahead. He knows he's ahead, so he has two PDs, four A turrets, and then he's gonna make T2 on the ACU. Just it's gonna make him really difficult to snipe once he has that upgrade. As low continues echoing, and uh, I don't know what his plan is. He just gives up the map, and then it's like, where, where's the plan though? What's the plan? I think this is a pray for a mass donation sort of scenario. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't see it forthcoming. Although hoping your opponent makes a mistake is hardly a plan. <laughs> no. I Not... actually remember playing a game versus Turbo. Like, I think it was Legend of the Stars Qualifier last year, something like that. And where I basically completely won a game on Emerald Crater. And he somehow managed to hide like 20 Corsairs in the corner and nearly killed me. <laughs> Who's low? Uh, no, Turbo. Oh, right, Turbo, yeah. And 
Like he was, I, I was about to kill his ACU and then he like was dropping it around with the transport so I couldn't catch him with the gunships. <laughs> <laughs> we started like joking around and then suddenly like 30 Corsairs appeared on the radar. <laughs> 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 Alright, T2 PDs now. It's just, it's just full turtle mode here. It's like. Yeah. She should get uh, just rush an Omni, easy. <laughs> just rush a monkey lard. Why not? Or yeah. a Scathis. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Turbo is in the scenario where he doesn't have to do anything. He just has to make as many mechs as low mechs. And... What, what can Zlo do? Because Lowe's not trying to attempt anything, he's not... He's actually paused his air right now as he tries to make another P-Gen. He has T2 Turbo land, but like... Not sure what he can do with that. He just yeah, dropped the back max. Yeah, Finally, that's nice. ahead of Turbo. At minute 12. <laughs> yeah, 13 even. I mean, you know... Well, better than minute 40 uh, on Arcane to drop the corner <laughs> when you somehow re finally realize there are maxes there. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone forgets about those. Oh, yeah, uh, actually, Turbo could uh, TML the island. There's T2 Max there. You can easily TML yeah. the island from the from the middle of the map. Only one, though. <clears throat> yeah. Worth well, there's, for there's one more upgrading. I mean, it's worth it oh. if you build a TML and then reclaim after one missile. I suppose. He should just make a T2 transport and just drop units over and kill it like that. I feel like it's very underrated, just dropping some... Like taking over plateaus and islands on island maps. With T1 unit, just drop 20 of them and they can take the whole island easily. Yeah. I did that versus Nexus in the uh, Summer Invitational. It was quite a weird game, but I just used two T2 transport and took his whole pizza slice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's difficult to take it back, you see. Uh, yeah, well, it's pretty boring now because it seems like Zlo has no plan and Turbo is just chilling. Yeah, he knows he has more map control, but he isn't echoing too much. No. It's kind of weird. He needs to make more economy, I would say. It's kind of slow. I down. am slightly concerned about the amount of mass Turbo is putting in snipe defense. Let's see, what's he got? <laughs> A lot of PDs, and f he's even got static flak. Uh, he should eco the mechs as he's sitting on, you know, with his commander. Those are the safest ones on the map. Where's the eco? Yeah, it What's... seems like he really wants to qualify, it, so he's playing super safe. <laughs> yeah. He's making even he's making it to transport. I wonder if it's gonna be oh save my ACU. <laughs> yeah. Transport or is he gonna actually use it for something productive? I mean, I don't think he should leave that position. He's building T1 PDs next to his pigeons. What's that about? Like a lot of them. T1 PDs. Oh yeah. Okay. My... Yeah, he's like you know defending against drops. I mean, if well, they drop, if they drop, if they drop here, they mean they'll kill everything. But uh, if they drop right here, it's not gonna work. So <laughs> I actually started on some bigger twenty by twenty maps, especially playing versus people that I know doing drops. Just get like five artists in my base or a couple bombers just patrolling around, and it actually saved me during. My game versus Pepsi during uh, the group stage of Summer Invitational. Yeah, it's good to have some bombers or artillery around to to defend. So you have to have stuff there already, otherwise you can't react fast enough. They'll do their damage already. Yeah. More mexes in the top. That could be a big target for T2 Turbo's transport army. Full of Mantis by Turbo. It's just chilling. Over the pond for now. Where's he going? 
I, I felt like he was trying to go for the bottom island and change his mind, but it's he's missing one mantis, I think there. One club is empty. Yeah. Well, he could fit. Like no, he could in... fit some more. I think he fit twelve. There's like a line playing it safe and just being paranoid, and I think Turbo might be crossing that line, building TMO's knife defense. I wouldn't say building one TMD is probably nice. The other day, I nearly got, I killed my opponent just, and then after the game finished, I see I saw four TMLs in his base about to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was versus Thomas. Yeah, no, building some extra TMD is fine. I mean, he's still way ahead. He still has all the map control. He's he is going to be late to T3 land though. He should have been aiming for T3 land, I'd say. But uh, Zlo's going to be there first. I also think Zlo has now more T2 maxes than Turbo. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and like a little bit of storage. I mean, Turbo, well, he's upgrading the island now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Yeah, no, Turbo's definitely ahead on eco. Yeah, he has just way more map control. Yeah. Although he, sh he should be just snowballing his economy. I don't really understand why he is. He's just staying ahead. Just, you know, firing up ahead that feels like there's no comeback and there's no snipe attempt. Yeah, but, but you sh when you're ahead on the economy, you should be aim and ahead equal or ahead on map control and units you should be aiming to just run away with the eco because for now it's the game is not looking like it's gonna close gonna end soon yep and there's gonna be t3 land uh for his law it's probably finished by now it is he's making bricks uh does he have t2 air though no t2 air for transports oh there's a drop i don't I don't know if these mantis are going to manage to kill the the mechs there, but they did kill the back mechs. Look at that, T2 mechs dead. That's a good drop from Turbo. Yeah, I agree. There's low bombs, the, the mechs, that's sad. I think this expansion will die, and that, I mean, that's got to be game over. Unless a brick arrives here quickly, I think Turbo can kill this. Uh, his flank is into the flak, that's quite dangerous. Uh oh. Another full wet flak. <laughs> Not this time. Oh. So Corsair goes down. A lot of PDs going up. That might actually slow him down enough for a brick to get here. Oh no, the bricks are heading forward. Mm. It's about the mantis inside this little space now. Yeah. That's not pretty. And a lot of T2 being made still. Even though T3 land is up, I don't think he can afford all this. Also, there's no TMD here, so this can still all be TML'd. This whole there island is... Oh, you're talking about the island. I yeah, see. the island has full T2 max now. T2 max is the base dying to Mantis. He's gonna lose at least two here, I'd say. Yeah, like seven seconds behind the... Seven Armor. second delay is now quite annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, he saved saved another max. Top expansion. Doomed. Absolutely doomed. Yeah, I feel like he could have saved it and even turned Turbo's attack into Mastination with some good if if he would drop up like one or two bricks there and micro it. Well now it's just feels like the only choice he has left is just control case commander. Yeah, yeah, he has three bricks out. If he had two of those up there, I think maybe he could, he could hold on. He's moving his ace hill behind his base. That's kind of interesting. Maybe he should go for a laser drop. Actually, that could have that could work if Turbo doesn't scout it. Definitely could work. It can always work. There's no situation where laser drop can't work. <laughs> well, you know, Just there is no time to do it. And that's sad. Well, I don't think that Turbo will try to push the main base of Slow. He'll just probably sit back and relax with the 
damage he done to the expansion, although he didn't kill one <laughs> of the T2Xs, which is kind of weird. Mm, yeah, he kind of donated some mass here, but... Um, yeah, he'll kill the last T2 Max. He's taking Reclaim. He should... Yeah, he should, you know, maybe make T3... He has T3 land. Ah, he can do anything, really. Anything he wants. There's a unit drop. More Mantis killing T2 Maxes. It seemed like he I just like chilled for so long and now he's doing all the little tryhard drops and things. It's like he got he got like sick it. of the game not ending. <laughs> yeah. I really like doing the little drops around. It's a very cheap way to do damage. When you're ahead, you don't really want to take a risky attack on an expansion that could turn into a mastonation and a bad trade. It's yeah. much better to do little annoying things to further depress and to make your opponent more and more depressed over the span of the game. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, the Mantis aren't going to do anything in the land battle anyway. So you just drop six Mantis and they can kill the T2 Max pretty quickly. It's way more effective than anything else they could do. Yeah. I feel like Mantis deserve a little nerf to bring them in line with the other T1 units. They just feel a little bit too strong, in my opinion. Hmm. I would it's... tend to agree, not that I have the experience of you, Tagata. Just so good. Yeah. Poor Cyber. Like... Look at all the hate. Here's a brick at the front. Versus... Mm, some lower HP bricks. Defending the reclaim. This game should end. Yes, exactly. Another game should begin where I could actually be in the game, not only watching your stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what we wanted to see. T3 Max. On the way. Always want to see the T3 Max. Yep. Let's hope he will make the last storage around it, otherwise it won't be a pretty sight. Well, it's next to the... Oh, he actually doesn't have adjacency, does he? Oh, it's like... Is it half square away, or is yeah, it one square? Yeah, seems to be. Half square. Unlucky. So he can't make the last storage anyway. T3P gen. For turbo. Probably... T3 air after that. I had a quite funny game on versus Tom uh, versus Motor on the Rosa, where I didn't spend my mass correctly, and I finished to free. And then I had like 12k mass in store, so I just made chicken minute like 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Yeah. Like, oh whoa, this is a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just fucked up, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it worked, though. Yeah. <laughs> that, that matters sometimes. Another tryhard drop. Yeah, more mantis. Is he ma still making mantis? Yeah, I feel like he is just. No, he's not. Fixing actually. his mistake of making mantis by dropping them around. Yeah. So they're yeah. actually somewhat useful. Yeah, and then you can see Zlo's gonna drop a brick up here, but it's like such he has a... more air control, so Turbo should just kill it with some gunships or crossers. Yeah, you can just see how much bigger of an investment it is, and it's not really gonna get way more damage done as a drop than some of these well, other drop... Mantis drops. If you would drop a flak with it, and maybe even a stealth, then it probably could wipe the whole island, all T2 Maxes. I don't think so. I mean, you don't have radar for the for the flak, and you can just corsair the flak easily. So I'd say, well, I guess drop a scout as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you can't fit all that in a transport. I drop think your entire army. It's fine. Yeah, drop your AC. I, I think you can fit. I'm not sure about Cybern, but I'm. I know that in Aeon you can fit one T3 unit, and. Uh, 42, if I'm correct. So you can drop like two flak, one shield, and then some scouts as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I think um, Aeon can fit a little more than than Cybern. 
There's yeah, I think they have two more clamps. Yeah. Uh, Corsairs. Sniper Pigeon. It's not, it's not really worth it. No, it's not really important Especially at all. Especially with uh, like 90% of five players overflowing at least 400 power at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you can kind of do suicide attacks at this point that aren't even effective, but like if he just made those Corsairs and just suicided them to kill Pigeons, it would actually be fine because he's so far ahead anyway. T3R, Strap Bomber, that's what we need. Yeah, just end the game, just shut all the maxes around uh, except for the main base and you'd be done with it already. Yeah. Or just strat, this is the type strat of the game HQ. you only get in tournaments. Normally, people would just leave. <laughs> yeah. Blow just wants to keep it going. Three thousand mass killed on that brick at the top. It's gonna kill. Oh yeah, he's gonna oh. lose it now. Maybe he'll leave after this death push fails in the bottom, right? Nah, he won't. Mm. What am I saying? Oh. Uh... Another mechs go down, goes down. The brick start, stopped shooting even though the brick, the other brick moved forward. That was really weird. Did you see that jacket? Yeah. Uh, not sure what happened there. Did he lose a radar somewhere or I what? I think so. That was. I think it's just some vision bug. When you have units on the, I don't know. I I just really hope that it would be possible to fix how the vision works in this game. It's just so awful. No, it's not really fixable. Yeah, I know. It's you would need probably like source code for that. Yeah, and then you know, <laughs> the knowledge people to actually it. fix it as well. <laughs> you know, people think it's like, oh, if we had the source code, we could do anything. It's like, <laughs> you know, people still have to work on it after they get the source code. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, we could just build a new game from scratch. Yeah, yeah. Let's why yeah, not? Yeah, just build a new engine for the game. Yeah, that's you the know, best just... idea. <laughs> Here comes the strat, it's gonna kill all the power, the shield's not finished. It's gonna be close. He could ask, the shield has such a low build time that he sh could have finished it, I feel like. Yeah, he had like That's one NG. He had like one engineer building it. 4k mass killed, casual. Look at that see. pretty AA turret in between the uh, factories and the pigeons. Beautiful. Maybe it'll kill the strat. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, here's the strat. <laughs> Killed another max. Top expansion dies again. Now Zlaw is countering with some Mantis drops on the bottom. Hoplite. Counter, you say. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, what happens? How did this brick get here? Uh, and also, where's it Turbo? Shop, I think. Where's Turbo's commander? Oh, he's gone home. Yeah, he he went to the less secure location, basically. Yeah. Oh, another another strap on. He's just gonna kill the Rex, so it's not gonna triple. Oh, he missed the other two. That's bad. Yeah, he hit this one a but... bit, but he's hitting the HQs as well, like both HQs. Which is kind of good. Now he's hitting the Rex. And the bricks are pushing in to the biggest firebase fire I've ever seen happening. on this map. And Turbo is actually losing the air fight, I feel like. Yeah, he got crushed actually in there. But there's also yeah, his GG. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but HQs will be dead in about. Yeah, now. There's and nothing there, left. <laughs> yeah, there goes the GG. But no control K yet. There we go. I remember saying GG a couple times and then actually kept playing for 15 more minutes because I realized I wasn't that far behind as I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm guilty of doing that as well. I'll say GG and then I'll be like, wait, hold on, I could win this. Yeah, yeah, I love that when people are like, yeah, GG, and then they, then you're like, type back GG, and, th and then, and then they all in your ACU, and you're like, whoa, cool, like, thanks a lot, dude. Very yeah, it's better than my GG after I kill enemy com. 
Yeah, after you just crush in four minutes, you're like, yeah, GG. Get fucked, kid.